So yeah, I'm just having a walk around now. I'm gonna see what's what. See if I can see any fish. Check out wind direction and stuff like that as you do. And uh, see how things are looking. I'll show you around in a minute or at least show you a couple of swims. That's a nice spot. If I fish from over there, I could send a bait boat over here into this margin. So I need to check round here. So this here, way too shallow. I'd love to fish here right by these reeds, get my rod, oh, sorry, get my boat, bring it over here. But I'll be picked up by coots and birds all night, so that's a no-go. So I'm going to try around here, I'm going to go for a walk and have a look. Let's have a look around here. See what it's saying. My carpet does that look. Here we go. I could send the boat to here. It's still relatively clear at the bottom. It's shallow there. Very shallow. It's, it's about six inches in the side here and it grow, gradually tapers off. Um, about a yard out it's about two feet two yards out it looks like it might be three and a half maybe four bottom looks fairly clean it's a little bit choddy and there's a just disturbed something here this looks looks like it could be a nice area so I think I might fish reed one on my middle rod and then I might fish round there with my left rod. I'm definitely going to fish on what I referenced as uh, reed point one I think I called them didn't I? And there's another fish showing out there, Look, I don't know whether you can see that. Same spot again. They're definitely on the move. Right, I'm going to get set up. I'm excited. Get this barrel unloaded. Just uh, got to put my bed in a few bags before it starts to rain. Um, not putting the ground sheet in today. Doesn't need it. I've got this AstroTurf type grass down, which is ideal. Result. Oh, this is fantastic. Take those off. good all right let's get the beast out get there get the aerial on get the batteries in voltage I'm getting on this because these batteries I'm pretty sure are on the way out I'm supposed to get four hours one time ish out of this and I'm struggling to get one and a half so, let's, get, let's get that on and get the area on Uh, 
see what the batteries are reading 12.4 that's good let's get this heli rig set up naked heli nice and sharp let's get a wafter on that so this one is going over to that what I called earlier the um, reeds one I think I called it it's the only thing I could think of at the time so fairly short rig it's right down the edge That's lovely. Brilliant. That is ideal. Right, not going to be using loads of bait. I think it's a case of just literally a scoop of this. Right, let's let's get the boat on. this in close it now okay so that's in all, right, all we've got here is some maize and some nutoffee oil is literally just a couple of little scoops in there Well, I managed to drop the naked heli off onto a nice clear bottom, about a yard off the reed line, in just over seven feet of water, just as the heavens opened. Look what I've done. What an absolute clown. Ah, <sighs> my word. I left that out in the rain, didn't I? But, but it's brightened up now, so it's looking much better. I can get the other two rods out. Um, do you know, I'm going to be perfectly honest as well. As I was putting that one out, that middle rod with the boat, I've, I lost track with what I was doing. I was so sort of um, preoccupied with getting everything around me together and getting on into the bivvy because um, I realised my, my bed chair was about to get wet. The edges edges of it were, were getting wet. So um, yeah, so my point is I forgot exactly where my marker points are for that middle rod I know I landed it on a clear spot and I, lower, I know I landed it over the other side by those reeds but I can't remember exactly where but you know what, it was on a clear spot so I'm going to leave it and um, now I'm going to get the other two rods sorted well what I'm going to say to you now is going to sound absolutely ridiculous but 
I've never been so busy when I've when I've been fishing. Honestly, I've just I think because I got caught out in the rain, loads of stuff's got wet, and uh, well, you saw the state of my solid bags. I'm having a nightmare, guys. Honestly, I feel like a <laughs> I feel like a right noddy. Um, but yeah, just it's one of them. It's just one of them. Uh, training again, not as heavy as it was, but um, yeah, it, it's mental. I've just been busy trying to tidy up and get straight, and then I'm <laughs> I'm still not there. It's, every, it's like uh, it's just a mess. It's a disgrace. That's what it is. But anyway, I got two rods out. I wanted to put a solid bag out on my left rod, and I just haven't got round to it yet. So, but yeah bit of a nightmare so far anyway let me tell you what's happening it's a Friday um, it is now uh, let me check it's quarter to five now but yeah I've been fishing for around about I had my first rod in about an hour and a half ago my second rod in probably three quarters of an hour ago so yeah I'm just keeping you up to date as what what's going on um, but yeah it's it's not started off the best morning it's quarter to seven Saturday morning and um, not had a touch all night it's still on my mind about the uh, amount of weed in here um, you know, it's, it's starting to um, really get into my mind about it my left rod's fine I, um, I know that that is on a clear spot solid bag as well foolproof for me well, well proof for anybody it's, it's a good method of fishing as, as we know um, but that middle rod concerns me most it's not that I've dropped it amongst weed I've dropped the rig on a clear spot because you know I had the, the help of the deeper but it's the amount of the sheer thick weed between the rod and the rig um, I don't know, it's, it's starting to annoy me, but it's that time of the day where I don't want to move any of my, any of my rigs. Um, prime time now, bike time, isn't it? So, what do I do? Do I give it another hour? Do I give it another two hours? I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm happy with my left rod. My left rod, sorry. That's close in, that's about four yards off the bank under a tree. My right rod, that's at, at 75 yards. Um, by the island, it's, it's not on the island, but it's, it's, it's fairly close to the island, about three, three and a half yards off. So I'm fairly happy with that one, but that middle rod, that's really, um, that really concerns me at the moment. Um, and another bit of bad news is uh, my batteries have, have died on the boat. So There's definitely something wrong with, with those. I only used them for probably 20, 25 minutes tops. So uh, I might give Manda Bell in a minute and see if she'll bring my new ones out that were delivered yesterday. Anyway, time for a nice cup of coffee, I think. Catch you in a bit. Well, I'm chuffed with these Micron X batteries. Or should I say I'm chuffed with the way the, the alarm units use minimal power. Because these batteries have been in now for almost a year 
and um, I had the flashing LED low battery signal or warning should I say um, last session and they're still going but I thought well I might might as well get them changed but yeah I think these have been in for about 11 months and um, I bought a pack of 10 off Amazon I'm just trying to think how much I paid for them yeah actually 10 was 12.95 off Amazon which is pretty damn good going really for Duracell so yeah chuffed with those I'm gonna get these changed over now right guys it's time for the naked chod there's just so much weed in here it's the only real option now without the boat I tend to use a bait screw in my chod setup. Um, I just find it a lot more convenient. And I, <clears throat> I know there's a little bit more weight in there than there would be if you were using floss, but it really doesn't seem to make a hell of a lot of difference. So, um, yeah, looks nice and sharp. Let's get it out. So I've managed to squeeze another trip out of the bait boat batteries, which will be some relief on my dodgy shoulder as opposed to casting. And it's also enabled me to drop some maize and boilies right onto the rig spot. I'm over there at 18 wraps. I'm around about six feet off those reeds. And the reason I'm not closer is because it's too shallow. It's only about two and a half foot deep there and uh, I'll just be constantly being picked up by the, the coots. So yeah, I've, I've come back a little bit and I'm in around six and a half feet of water now. And, and it's a clear bottom, silty, but clean. Well, what a lovely early morning delivery by the carp gods. I'd literally only just finished my breakfast when my right rod went off. This beautiful mirror at 20 pound, eight ounces graced the sling. What a way to start off my first session on this beautiful water. <laughs> 